Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftlet Gaming, and in this RPG Maker AV tutorial, I'm going to show you how to replicate the Paragon system inspired by Ultima, and uh, the whole Ultima Online, and the whole series, basically. Basically, a Paragon is an enemy that's a uh, similar type as uh, its class, but it, its, its stats and HP is increased by a lot, and they usually have better drops uh, as well. So when we fight uh, these fallen pixies, there's a chance, and I've made it a guaranteed chance, but um, that's just for the sake of time, that the, the enemy, enemy will transform at the beginning. So we can see that uh, round turn zero, enemy has revealed themselves as a paragon, so their parameters are times five. So the first fallen pixie has switched uh, to graphic and basically has transformed into, into a different enemy, uh, which has increased its stats by five. So we're going to just dispatch these enemies really quickly. Well, that's funny. It hit the blue mage, so she learned. Uh, <laughs> she learned the skill, but she died. Thank you, Yanfly, for that. That makes the blue mage work for me again. Go, chicken! Um, I haven't increased the, the the maximum, or I've increased the maximum health, but I haven't increased the health uh, on the Paragon just to save time. But we're gonna do that. So that's the Paragon. Um, let me show you how to do that. It's not too hard. Um, you're going to need some image editing software. Uh, you can download GIMP for free. I'll put a link in the description where you can get that. Basically, you're going to go to your image editing software. You're going to open up. Uh, you're going to go to your game folder and then go to the IMG SV enemies if you're using the side view. Or you're going to go to enemies if you're using the normal view. Uh, you're going to open up one of the enemies that you want to uh, turn into a paragon. We're basically going to apply a filter to it. So let's take uh, this snake. And then we're going to go to filter. And we're going to use um, the glowing edges or any stylizing one. You can actually use any any uh, filter you like, or whatever you prefer. I just thought this one stood out. So we're going to apply that filter to it. And then we're going to save it as. Remember not to save it. We'll override it. So we're going to save it as whatever it's called, underscore two, or underscore paragon, or whatever you want to call it, really. So we'll save it as that. Uh, you'll set uh, smallest, slow compression, and interlaced. And then when you go to your database, um, you'll find that enemy. You'll just copy that enemy and paste it. Um, so I had, uh, which one was this? A fallen, uh, fallen pixie. So we're going to find the fallen pixie right here. We'll just right click that, copy that one, paste it down here, and then increase all of the stats by whatever amount you want. In my case I did 5. They had 1000 HP so I made it 5000. They had 100 MP so I made it 500. They had 20 attacks so I made it 100 and, and so forth and so on. Um, increased the experience and the gold uh, accordingly as well. Also uh, an idea that I'm going to be using is Paragon Paragons are going to drop items that you can use to get like orbs or scrolls that you can use to increase uh, your, your armors and your weapons so you'll have to find Paragons and kill Paragons to upgrade your ultimate weapons, which is a pretty uh, neat idea. So after you've got your Paragon enemy, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Troops tab. So uh, on your uh, Troops tab, uh, basically you don't want every enemy to be able to turn into a Paragon because you can just wipe the party uh, super quickly. So what I've done is made it so that uh, only the first enemy uh, in the uh, the first enemy in uh, the troops is going to have the chance to turn into a paragon. So if there's just one, you still have that that enemy could turn into a paragon. If there's two, only the first enemy is going to turn to paragon. Three, only the first. It's going to apply to the same. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a new event page on that, and you're going to do the conditions of turn zero. So check turn and put zero zero. You're going to do the span of battle. You're going to do a control variable at the top of that, and create a new variable and call it. Um, whatever you want to call it really call it like paragon I've called it paragon roll but you can call it whatever you want you're gonna set that to a random number between 1 and 10 so set that random number between 1 and 10 and then once you've done that that's gonna let you control your percentage you can go higher than that 1 to 100 if you want to be uh, real specific but basically you're gonna do a conditional branch underneath that 
and you're going to um, right click insert new conditional branches on tab one and you're going to set that to the variable of your paragon role and you're going to say greater than or equal to then this is going to be the percentage chance if you want it to be um, 10 percent chance then you would go uh, if you're using one to ten then it would have to hit that ten uh, that ten mark to uh, become paragon so you would do ten if you wanted it to be twenty percent chance you would go greater than or equal to to nine if you wanted it to be fifty percent chance you would go greater than or equal to six and not five because we're not using zero so one two three four uh, five um, because if it's equal to five then let's see one two three four five uh, is that right <laughs> Uh, since we're using equal to, um, then a five will be, because um, you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so that would be six chance. So that would actually be a uh, 60% chance if you used five. So if you want it to be 50% chance, you'll have to use six. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then underneath that, you're going to show a text, let the player know that one of the enemies have, has uh, become paragon or revealed himself as a paragon. You could also do include uh, the, the modifier that you've used on that paragon. And then you're going to do an enemy transform. So what you're going to do is go uh, to tab 3, and you're going to go to battle, and you're going to go uh, enemy transform. Then you're going to select the first enemy, and you're going to transform it into that paragon version. So I've created, I copy pasted it up the stats and renamed it with paragon in parentheses. So we're turning the fallen pixie into a paragon. And then uh, that's really all you have to do. Um, you could even copy this whole page and then go to the next one and paste it and then just transform the first enemy into uh, whatever different enemy. You would just edit this one and edit the text. You don't even have to edit this text. Everything could be the same. You would just edit this transform and you would, uh, it would still switch this one to number one and then you would just transfer this to the new paragon. So hopefully that helps you guys come up with a, a new mechanic in your game, the Paragon from Ultima Online. I've always liked playing uh, Ultima, the whole Ultima series, and uh, I thought it was an interesting concept when I was trying to, to farm uh, Paragon Dragons and stuff uh, on a bunch of other servers. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being awesome. Continue to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below if you have a special request or you get stuck in, in, inside of RPG Maker MV. Let me know, and I would love to help you out. So thank you guys for watching again, and we will see you in the next tutorial.